Hello everyone. Welcome to my video tutorial in mathematics. This is Mam Lina, your teacher in Math Made Easy. So this today we're going to discuss how to solve problems involving rational algebraic expression. Okay, so let's take the first example. The first example here is find two consecutive even integers if one-third of the smaller is equal to one-fourth of the larger. Again, so there are two, we are asked to find the two consecutive even integers so that one-third of the smaller is equal to one-fourth of the larger. Okay, so now let x represents the smaller even integer. Is one and let x plus 2 is our uh, larger even integer. So, nakalagay dyan that one third of the smaller is equal to one fourth of the larger. So, it will be x over 3, that is one third of the smaller, is equal to x plus 2 over 4, it is one-fourth of the larger. So, to be able to get the value of x or the smaller number, we're going to cross-multiply. So, let's cross-multiply. What is 4 times x? We have 4x. Then, what is 3 times x plus 2? It will be like this. x plus 2. So, when you bring down 4x, 3 times x is equal to 3x. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then, we will transpose positive 3x to the left. Remember ha, yung sign ay magbabago. So, it will be 4x, negative 3x is equal to 6. Then, you 4x minus 3x equals x. Then, you bring down 6. Therefore, our smaller even integer is 6. How about the larger? So, x plus 2 will become 6 plus 2. That is equal to 8. 8 is our larger even integer. Okay? So, let's check. So, nakalagay dyan, um, x over 3 is equal to x plus 2 over 4. Equal daw sila. So, this is 6 over 3. This is 8. Because x is 6, di ba? So, magiging 8 over 4. And then, we will cross multiply. Kung makikita nyo, they have the same product. 6 times 4 is 24. 3 times 8 is also 24. Okay, let's take another example. Number two, Mario can paint the wall in four days, while Jude can paint the same wall in six days. If both boys work together, how long will it take them to finish it? Ibig sabihin, kung si Mario lang mag-isang magtatrabaho, magpipintura, it will last for 4 days. Kung si Jude lang mag-isa, it will last for 6 days. The question is, how about kung dalawa sila magtutulungan? Yung speed ni, ni Mario plus yung speed ni Jude, magsasanib po sa magtutulungan silang dalawa. So, what is what do we expect? Ano kayang inaasahan natin? Tatagal pa kaya ng anim na araw or bababa sa apat na araw? Okay, so let's translate. 1 over 4, this is the speed of Mario. And 1 over 6 for Jude. If they work together, so it will be 1 over X. Okay, kapag silang dalawa ang magtrabaho. So how will you, how will you translate? Since magsasama silang dalawa, it will be translated into 1 fourth plus 1 six. The answer is 1 over x. Okay? To find x, 
we're going to find the least common denominator. So, mapapansin nyo, add yung ginamit natin, yung, yung uh, bilis ni Mario plus yung bilis ni Jude pagsasamahin natin. How many days kaya? Okay, so le let's find the least common denominator of 4, 6, and x. And that is equal to 12x. Then, let's multiply and divide. So, what is 12x times 1? 12x divided by 4, 3x. 12x times 1 is 12x divided by 6 is equal to 2x. Then, 12x times 1 equals 12x divided by x. The answer is 12. Then, let's add. It will be 5x. Then, you bring down 12. To find x, we're going to divide 12 by 5. So, what is x? How many 5 in 12? Multivide tayo, di ba? 5 divided by, uh, no, sorry, 12 divided by 5 equals 2. 2 times 5 is 10. The remainder is 2. Therefore, kapag si Mario at saka si Jude ay magtutulungan, it will only last for 2 days and 2 over pif. Okay? 2 and 2 pif days. So, mas mababa kaysa sa 4, di ba? Siyempre nga naman, kung, si, kung mag-isa nga lang ni Mario, kaya niyang tapusin ito sa loob ng apat na araw lang. Papaano kung silang dalawa ay magtutulungan? So, it will last only for 2 and 2 pif days. Okay? Let's have the last example. The denominator of a fraction is 4 more than the numerator. If both the numerator and denominator of a fraction are increased by 1, ah, sorry, decreased, decreased by 1, the result is 5 over 8. Find the fraction. Again, gaya ng sinabi ko, when you are solving a problem, first you have to analyze the problem understand the problem then after that you translate the given problem into mathematical equation okay so anong hinahanap sa atin the numerator and denominator of course diba pe kasi nakalagay diyan no if the denominator of a fraction is 4 more than the numerator what when, when we say 4 more than that is addition no plus Okay, let x is our numerator. How about the denominator? Kasi nakalagay dyan, the denominator of a fraction is 4 more than. 4 more than. So, mangyayari, x plus 4, x plus 4 will be our denominator. Okay? Tapos, may pangalawang condition pa nakalagyan if both, if both, so, big sabihin silang dalawa, if both the numerator and denominator of a fraction are decreased by 1, okay, decreased by 1. So, mangyayari, ito yung numerator, magiging translation yan ay x over x plus 4. Kaya lang, nagkaroon tayo ng panibagong kondisyon na kalagay if both numerator and denominator of a fraction are decreased by 1. So, mangyari, yung numerator natin kanina na x lang magiging x minus 1 over x plus 4 minus 1. The result is 5, 8 down. Okay? So, why did we use minus 1? one Kasi nakalagay if both numerator and denominator are decreased by 1. That's why we have negative 1. Okay, so we have x minus 1 over, all over x plus 3. Kasi 4 minus 1 equals 3. Is equal to 5 over 8. Then, to find x, we will cross multiply. So, dito muna tayo. It will be 8 times x minus 1 equals 5 o yung partner niya x plus 3 
Then let's simplify. 8 times x is equal to 8x. 8 times negative 1, negative 8. 5 times x is equal to 5x. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Then, let's bring down, uh, let's transpose, no? So, ililipat natin si 5x. Dapat katabi na siya ni 8x. Remember, okay, you bring down 8x. And then, you transpose positive 5, uh, 5x, sorry, magiging negative 5x. Equals 15. Then, lipat natin yung negative 8, magiging positive 8. So, we have 3x is equal to 23. Taba, 18. Yes, 23. So, x is equal to 23 over 3. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Sana po ay meron kayong natutunan or meron kayong naintindihan. Thank you.